Hi from the Tin Men. Okay, I just had to give Laser Saber's Jewel Ringer 2 a go. Um, going to try something a little different with this one um, and see if we can't modify it, make it a little better, although that will be hard because it's a very simple circuit that Laser Sabers come up with and works very very well. I haven't really done a lot with this sort of thing but I'm going to give it a go and see what we can come up with. I love to modify. Um, we have our E-Core of course. Now being a little different I've used this Litz wire instead of the plastic coated copper wire that they've been using. I'm going to give that a try. This was actually on this transformer um, which was out of a small TIG welder. So we're going to give that a try. I've put the um, first layer on the core. Now we've got to put our secondary on. So we'll go ahead and do that and come back and have a look when we've done that part of it. Okay, so we've got it finished. But you will see here a couple of little additions. It is the standard laser sabre circuit. And you'll see a full wave bridge rectifier here. On one side of the e core just down the bottom I'll put 25 wraps of 0.6 wire um, just to see if I could drive a couple of LEDs with it. And even with that small amount of wraps after going through the rectifier I still get about 16 volts out of it so we can use that to charge batteries uh, which we're going to do here um, this is a 14 volt LED out of a automobile as you can see there I don't know how many watts it hasn't got that written on there but it is for the tail lights or indicators. Um, it drives that quite nicely. So we'll fire this up, have a quick look at this running and then I'm going to show you my little invention. So we'll plug him on. Now this light bulb, just turn that off for a minute, this bulb is, I don't know if you can see that or not, 220 to 240 volts and it is 15 watts and it's actually driving that at about 208 volts so it's very very close to full bright. Now the other interesting thing is uh, this is actually a dead globe it won't work in the house why it's working on here and not in the house I don't know but if I plug it into the normal main socket and switch it on nothing happens so and you can see it hasn't been opened um, very interesting as to why it works on this setup not in the house I would think that perhaps the pulsing circuit inside has fried shorted out but we have our own pulsing circuit here which of course makes it go again so we're hooking back up again so like I said that is that close to full bright there's only about 10 volts in it and we are 240 here not 120 um, it's drawn about 630 milliamps so this here is the voltage in that little battery 3.72 it's just a little NICAD 1.6 amp hour but I don't know how many volts it is because that bit's missing but anyway I'm going to hook it on this little auxiliary circuit it charges 
charges it up very nicely. The light also goes slightly brighter and our milliamp draw goes up by about 30 milliamps. So I'm very surprised that small amount of turns is putting out so much voltage. Um, I'll disconnect it off of here now. That's our open voltage. It's actually nearly 18 volts and 18 volts. So pretty amazing for about 25, 30 turns. But anyway, we'll hook it up to the LED here now. Which is also nice and bright. And once again it goes up by about 30 milliamps and our light goes a bit brighter. The camera does auto darken. So that works a treat. Very good circuit there by Laser Saber. Very simple. Actually it'd probably be the most simple circuit I've ever seen. Um, one other thing before we go any further, just to keep Russ happy, I have been working on the HHO system. This big chunk of gear here is actually a full wave bridge rectifier that will handle 100 amps. Um, amp gauge is all hooked up, ready to go. I have been testing it, and even with all these plates, um, it only draws about 2 amps. And also in a, another video I'll show you how to tune your cell to your transformer and what a difference it makes using capacitors of different sizes. Okay, these things, we all know what they are. The cores out of TVs and computer monitors which are actually around the monitor itself. I've always wanted to find something to use them for and today we have done just that. Here we have the trumpet charger. That's what I'm going to call it because it looks like a trumpet. Just see two half cores. Now this is just laser sabers circuit on this top half. I've used 1.5mm building wire, 22 wraps, and then 300 wraps of 0.6 magnet wire. And on the bottom, I have 400 wraps of 0.6 magnet wire, which is going to be our high voltage charge system, so I can try and revive some of these batteries. The globe we're using at the moment, uh, I'm not sure if you can see that, it's a 130 volt. 10 watt globe, filament globe as you can see at the moment not very bright at the moment only drawing about 300 milliamps uh, 12 volts of course it is also charging this battery or trying to desulfate this battery at the moment and it's currently on 15.5 to 15.25 um, it's been going up and down all over the place, has been dead for a couple of years trying to revive it. Now we can get this to go full brightness so what I'll do is I'll disconnect our charge battery now this bottom coil is going through these two diodes so we're only using half wave rectification on it just to get the pulses um, I'll disconnect the charge battery and I'll show you the open voltage coming off of that secondary coil from this machine and also we'll see our light go nice and bright and our amps will go up to just on one amp oh and never touch the steel this is bad bad bodies okay 
as you can see we're just shy of an amp that is now full bright it's actually got about 138 volts across the two so that's running flat stick Wish this camera didn't go dark when you shine on the light but it does now the open voltage on this coil 668 volts 670 volts that's why you get a very very nasty bite off of that so found a use for those um, TV parts and this works very well I will hook the battery charger back up now of course our amps drop down the light goes dull and restart pulse charging that battery and try and shake some of the sulfate off of the shell off the um, cells bring it back to life so that's my little addition the trumpet charger and it works very very well okay well until my next little experiment it's cheers from the tin man